and just end the game. There we go. And I miscalculated. Greetings, Riju Akatidis here, and it's event time. This time the event is called Theme Chronicles, and we're supposed to use decks from the solo mode only. Well, they banned all the other stuff that they could think of. But out of that list, they did not care about Asarctics, so we have not a single card banned within our deck. Well, Pancratops and Vishuda from other stuff, so they banned those. But we could easily replace them with an Imperm and two Phantasmes. So, here we go! This is a fine hand. I think Impermanence is proving itself to be pretty fine. This is the Extender. Well, it's one negate. So I guess that's it. Opponent controls, that means it has to be on the field, right? Oh, this would be even easier. Let's just go Alpha and then walk over it. Actually, we can Radiant and then Alpha. Put it back into the hand. And then radiation. I forgot I don't have a small bear. Whoops. Um. Should we just wait for the next turn? No, we can just try our luck and draw. Actually, no, we'll just wait. Drawing two into a small bear doesn't seem like a very probable chance. At the cost of two cards. Resonance Instinct. A busted card. And you just go out Mirage. And then you can search the Doomdozer and then banish these two and then search another one. But shuffling three of your banished insect monsters into the deck. You are a big one. This card is destroyed, banished by opponent's card effect special summon. Ah, oh, what? Is it once per turn? Okay, that's once per turn. But you still can't do anything. I thought Resident Insect can search something good. Mechapoda. Great. Can go Megapoda first, and then chain Mechapoda. Totally could have changed it the other way around. But it doesn't matter here. What we want to do is, however... Chain Megapoda second when they summon. This way we can dodge an Ash. Actually, we dodge a lot of things. Let's do a Radiation first, right? Is it once per chain? It is... Oh, we should have separated the chain. Should we? Yeah, probably. There's only one Ash out there. Oh, we can just chain another radiation to a radiation. Excellent. Now I searched three cards, and you cannot ash at all. That's a corp by the grave. What's the use of banishing a radiant? Draw one, draw two, search. And into Polari. They rely on link monsters, so Septentria would be good. For once, finally, in fact. Recently, there has been so little link decks in the meta. It's all fusion and synchro, thanks to Swarzo and Branded. Ash here, we chain blocked the right thing previously. Mm 
Then we can banish Nicopora, summon Megatanus. We have been drawing quite a few radiations the last few games. That's probably why we're winning a lot. It's just absolute crack to draw 7 cards. And that is what it takes to make a Sartix actually able to win. I won't say playable, they're, they're playable on their own. But if you want to actually win, you have to go over the bar of playable and become unfair. And that's what exactly Radiation did. Ooh, he drew the Doom Dozer. We can search a Mega Billis here. And banish whatever he sends to the grave. And another Ash. Alright. We have two Imperms, so it's fine. The Doom Dozer is not big enough. He needs one more banish to summon the other mighty um, Neptune. Mighty Neptune thing. That one would be big enough. But we can probably flip that face down with Mega Tannis. Goki Pole! That's a pop everything, right? I think so. And there's nothing we can do that about that. Card on the field has to destroy the nothing we can do. Before end of the main phase. Is there enough defense on McBittus? There is. We can take the damage. We'll see if he set any cards. If he sets cards, it would be better if we barrage toss the next turn. 4,000 left. Thank you for milling my deck. Link. We can imperm that. You can shuffle your stuff, it's fine. Counters are going on Big Dipper. Usually if we resolve Big Dipper's second effect, we have won the game. Add a Battle Wasp. That's usually just an extender. They're trying to go into the Link Free, I suppose. Or Link 4. But they don't have enough insect monsters banished. 200 for each battle was 400. Actually, just 200. Okay, this guy's won the gate. And it's no longer won the gate. Armor horn. Almost someone one insect monster. Ah, he wants to go into the. Ooh, normal summon one. Go. Well, he wants to go into the link, and then summon itself. We have two imperms. We can just use one here. Into the link for invincible Atlas. Another Big Dipper doesn't help. We cannot target it with card effects. So we have to run into it with Alpha, I suppose. And then we have to deal 5,000. Hmm. Make Bittis. We can't flip Atlas face down. But we just need one more Big Bear. Oh wait, Alpha doesn't even target. He targets him his own cards. Now before we eat a nib for no reason. Ash 
and just end the game. There we go. And I miscalculated. Where did I? Oh god, you two are the smallest bears, that's why. Oh, rip. Um. Emergency plans. Septentrian pass. Oh god, how did I make such a mistake again? 100 off. Huge sweat. If this guy is sent to the grave, he's normal summoned, so I can't do anything about it. Imperm can't negate it either. Oh, I'm stealing your Goki pole. Yep, I'm definitely stealing your Goki pole. And then he can summon Mighty Neptune, that's what we know. But we can probably make a tennis hit. If I remember correctly, it can be targeted. Normal summon another monster. What if I imperm here? Some say if you blow enough things, they will stop. Mega Tannis, flip him face down. And then I realize their horn and Goki Fo has the same attack. But we just have to deal 1000 next, uh, 100 next turn, so it is fine. Probably. He's trying to stay alive here, putting it in defense. But with a Kaiju, that will not happen. And to end your dreams with a kaiju. And compensate for my lapse of judgment and inability to do maths. Goodbye. Whoo! Just Konami, please add, give us something that could fix this deck. There are a couple of cards that I'm waiting that has not been released, but none of them are actually Asoctic cards. So they won't so solve the root problem of this deck. Actually, should I try to add the Drytron end? It's one Fafnir. That end would perform slightly better. Um, we would like to Barastos here, right? Yeah. Let's see what we draw. Another water monster, that is good. Don't chain anything. Destroy Megapolar and Megatannis. We'll put him in defense just in case. Ooh, good thing we didn't pop it. Both of them. Barastos coming in clutch. But now we know what that set card is. <laughs> that felt excellent. It's just one effect, but it felt excellent. <laughs>